You did so well on the uh, first audience participation part. Let's try it again. If you'll turn to the dedication page the South of God, you may read along with me. And again, I quote, this book is dedicated to my wife and fellow novelist Cassandra King, who helped more than anyone in bringing South of Broad to its publication. To me, she is the finest thing ever produced on an Alabama farm. <laughs> Welcome, Cassandra King. The next trip down memory lane only goes back 12 years. And I'll stick with this theme of blurred reading and share what's on the cover of our next guest's first book. And for the last time, I will quote, Rick Bragg writes like a man on fire, and all over but the shouting is a work of art. I thought of Melville, I thought of Faulkner. Because I love the English language, I knew I was reading one of the best books I've ever read. By explaining his life to the world, Rick Bragg explained part of my life to me. I fell in love with his mother a hundred times. I wept when the book ended. I never met Rick Bragg in my life, but I called him up and told him he had written a masterpiece. And I sent flowers to his mother, unquote. Of course, that was written by a smart group. Rick Bragg won the Pulitzer Prize and the Casey Award given to the best nonfiction writer in Alabama. To say his family trilogy is respected and successful is the biggest literary understatement in the history of the world to plagiarize the favorite phrase of our main man. ABC television named all over the shop Memoir of the Year. Ava's Man was selected by the Southern Independent Booksellers Alliance as Book of the Year. And Prince of Frogtown is being so honored for this current year. Just this past May, he was chosen as the recipient of the Harper Lee Lifetime Literary Award and got to meet that lady. The national debut book signing for the book he was born to write, the most they ever had, will be in his beloved Calhoun County at Jacksonville State University, October the 7th. Mark that on your calendar. His Birmingham debut will be October 22nd. For those of you who live on Mars, <laughs> this is his long-awaited book, a collection of essays about his people, mill workers. I Am a Soldier too, the Jessica Lynch story, and somebody told me, round out the bibliography for this guy who promised he would not tell any secrets, nor refute any words of wisdom ever uttered by our guest of honor. 
unless, of course, he felt he just had to. <laughs> Making room in his incredibly busy schedule to join us tonight, Rick Bragg. Sunny White, Same Sweet Girls, Queen of Broken Hearts, All Over the Shouting, Rival Falls, Abel's Man, Somebody Told Me, Just Glitched Door, Prince of All Town, The Best They Ever Had, and South of Broad. All together, these three authors have published a dozen books. But who's keeping score? To move to a uh, more serious side, and really just for a moment, Y'all know that a uh, few health issues have caused America's favorite storyteller to curtail his uh, normal handshaking, picture taking, book personalizing, stay all night, mingle with the crowd style that his fans have known to love. However, you may rest assured, as long as he has a heartbeat, he will sign books. Look around this room and think how strong you would have to be to sign a copy for everybody in here. And then for every member of our Sign First Editions Club and then for the hundreds of people who weren't lucky enough to get tickets to be here tonight. And a very, very important part of Pat Conroy's signature is that the 2,000th copy looks just like the first one. His respect for his readers is obvious. As you'll see in a minute, he's getting stronger every day and probably is going to whip up on me for even mentioning this. We sure hope he'll come back to Alabama soon, accommodate those few thousand who couldn't make it tonight, and spend all day and night so we can mingle. And until that return, I believe you will all be most thankful to wait for you all. Oh, there you go. Uh, that you are the owner of what might be the hottest literary ticket in the history of the world. <laughs> if, you, if you really do love this guy, and surely we do, now would be the time to show it. Pat Conroy! <laughs> 